So the IMAX B6 charger. It costs between £13 and £20 without a power supply. It's capable of LiPo, NIM, NICAD, um, LED, LIFE and LIION packs. And it can charge balance and discharge. So it's a very attractive deal. But is it worth the money? Let's find out. First off, at 50 watt, it can charge up to a 6S. So can it charge a 6S 2200, for example, at 2.2 amps? Well, no. Due to the fact that it's a fixed 50 watts, when the LiPo voltage is greater than the voltage that the charger operates off, which is 12 volts, the current drops as the voltage increases, meaning that the charge times increase hugely. So for a 5 and 6S LiPo, you'd be better off getting a much higher end charger. If you're spending that much on batteries, really, it means that you can probably afford a better charger. It also doesn't have a power supply. They can be bought for around £10, but if you have an old laptop charger lying around, it may work as long as it has a standard barrel jack. I recommend that you use a 12 volt 5 amp power supply, as this will allow you to charge a 3 cell, for example, at up to 5 amps. Now, on the left hand end, there you have the power in terminal and pins for a temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is not included, but it can be bought from Hobby King for around £4. Also, it has some cooling holes to allow the heat out, as it does get very hot. We'll get onto that later in the review. On the right hand end, there are balance ports and a main power outlet for charging. This is where you'll, ch you'll plug in your charge cables and your battery balance cable when you want to charge or discharge. On the top, there's a heat sink to increase the surface area for cooling, and also on the back there are some holes. And on the front there is an LCD screen, which is obviously very low resolution, and four buttons. There's stop, which is used to obviously stop a program, or to go back to the previous menu. Two buttons for going left to right through the menu, and start, which is used to go onto the next menu, or to start a program. Now let's turn it on and see what you can do. So first, it will come up with a program select and then a battery type. You can scroll through the different types, as well as edit settings by going into user pro set program. So now let's try to charge a LiPo. First, you want to connect the charge cables. It includes a Dean's charge cable, but there are adapters for JSTs, and also several completely useless connectors, including what looks like an audio jack with a nut around it. The wire sheathing is also very stiff and cheap, so I recommend that you buy your own charge cables. Now I use XT60 and EC3 cables, and they cost around £2. Some of them have retractable plastic covers as well to prevent shorting the connectors. First, plug the main charge cables into the terminal on the right side. Then connect the LiPo balance into the correct balance port in the side. These only go in one way, so they can't go in backwards. Obviously you need to then connect your LiPo connector up to the charge cables. To demonstrate, let's charge a 2200 3S LiPo. First, we'll select LiPo at Program set Select and charge. By pressing start once, we can change the current and twice to change the voltage. By holding start, we can start the charge. It will then allow you to check that you have the right setup. It will say how many cells there are in the LiPo, followed by SERS. Check that this is correct, so if you're using a 3-cell uh, three shape, it should say 3-series, and then press start again to charge. On the LCD, it will show you the current being output, the voltage of the battery, time elapsed, program, in this case CHG, obviously means charge, and the type of battery, Li3S, which is short for LiPo3S, and the number of milliamps which have been put into the battery since the charge started. So, the downsides. Can't charge 6S batteries, for example, at full amperage. Also, it makes an annoying beeping sound every single time you press a button. It's not exactly like you're not aware that you've pressed the button. And also, it gets very hot, especially when discharging, and it's not unheard of for them to die if you try and discharge too many LiPos at once. And also, the max discharge for a 3-cell is only 5 amps, and it decreases the further up you go. However, despite this, for the amount of money it costs, especially for someone who's new to the hobby, the IMAX B6 is an absolute bargain. There are fake versions available even cheaper on Hobby King and eBay, but for most pilots it will be good enough for quite a while. So. Thank you for watching this RC Flight Reviews video. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe, or watch one of my other videos.